Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. It's time to not only reflect, but act. Now we're just six weeks out from election day and today is National Voter Registration Day. Every four years we are told the same thing, that this is the most important election of our lifetime. But this one is. When we vote, our values are put into action and our voices are heard. Your voice is a reminder that you matter because you do, and you deserve to be heard. This election, I'm not going to be able to vote here in the US. But many of you may not know that I haven't been able to vote in the UK my entire life. As we approach this November, it's vital that we reject hate speech, misinformation, and online negativity. So as we work to reimagine the world around us, let's challenge ourselves to build communities of compassion. Tonight reminds us of how important it is to watch out for each other to care for each other and to inspire each other. We are incredibly proud to join you in this historic moment in time. Yesterday marked National Voter Registration Day in the US. As we all know, Megan has been actively involved in encouraging people to vote. Megan raising awareness and encouraging people to vote. The Sussexes appeared in the first ever televised Time 100 special last night and touched on voting. The primetime special on ABC celebrated the publication's annual list of the 100 most influential people. They were nominated this year too. Last year, Harry and Meghan also made Time's 2019 list for 25 most influential people on the internet. Back in 2018, Meghan was selected as the seventh person of the year on the shortlist for person of the year. She also made it onto the Time 100 most influential people list. Priyanka Chopra Jonas wrote a touching tribute for Meghan. Harry also made the list for Time 100 Most Influential People that year. Elton John honored Harry by also writing a sweet tribute. Meghan also wrote an article for Time about period poverty. After her visit to India in 2017. Men and women alike, but certainly for people to remember just how hard it was to get the right to vote. And to be really aware of not taking that for granted. I mean, I look at that, my husband, for example, He's never been able to vote. Well, hi, everybody. This is exciting. I mean, I, I'm really thrilled that you asked me to be a part of this. And I just, I, I think this is such an exceptional time. So happy to be here. You and so many others before you fought for us to just be where we are right now. Well, it's just, I mean, when you, if you don't vote, you don't exist. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, you know, it is the only place where we're all equal. She came home to vote. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we did and why she came to see me was we sat at the dining room table here where I am right now and cold called voters Wow! and said, hello, I'm Meg and hello, I'm Gloria. And are you going to vote? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that was her initiative. Another analysis, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's California home is decorated with this air purifying plant. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's interior decorating skills are being revealed. During a Zoom call to celebrate the one-year anniversary of Meghan's SmartWorks patronage, we got a peek into their Santa Barbara home. In the video, a framed print of the sheet music cover for California's official state anthem, I Love You, California, is nestled on the stone fireplace mantle behind Meghan. And in the back corner of the room, sits one of the trendiest indoor plants, a fiddle leaf fig tree. Easily recognizable for its tall, sturdy stem and veiny, violin-shaped leaves that grow upright, its sculptural foliage is a sleek option when it comes to adding greenery to your home, as proven by the Sussexes. It will remove formaldehyde from the air while simultaneously brightening up your home. Another report Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just proved they'll always be more popular than William and Kate. For years, Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, seemed to be the most popular royals. Although Prince Harry was a senior working royal himself, he typically made appearances alongside his brother and sister-in-law, even earning himself a reputation as the world's most famous third wheel. When Harry married American actor Meghan Markle, suddenly, all eyes were on the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This is not to say that Harry didn't already have a huge fan base, but in recent years, 
Just about everything that he and Meghan do becomes headline news. As the future king and queen consort, William and Kate will always hold a special place in the hearts of fans around the world. Over the years, they have touched the lives of so many people, which more than explains why thousands line up in the streets to get a glimpse of them whenever they make an appearance. Although the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge get massive amounts of positive attention, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just proved they'll always be more popular than William and Kate. Meghan and Harry are no longer constrained by the royal family. Being a member of the royal family sounds like a fairy tale for just about anyone, but the truth is, it is pretty difficult at times. Royals are expected to follow a long list of rules and protocols, and the work schedule for senior family members can get pretty demanding. Add in the unfair media treatment that royals like Meghan and Harry have received, and being in the spotlight is anything but easy. For a few years, Meghan and Harry were bound by the confines of royal life, and they grew pretty unhappy and frustrated with everything. It was early in 2020 that the couple announced that they would be stepping down as working family members, and now that they have finally settled in California with their young son, to begin their independent journey. They are even more popular, especially now. That makes it is final. We can only imagine how happy the Duke and Duchess of Sussex must be to no longer feel constrained by the royal family. They just got a huge deal with Netflix. Just about every royal fan knows at this point that Meghan and Harry just recently finalized a huge deal with Netflix. Actually, Huge is somewhat of an understatement, since the deal is worth a reported $100 million. So what does the partnership entail? Well, over the course of several years, the Duke and Duchess will be producing content such as children's shows, movies, scripted series, and more. They are sure to do amazing things that will delight their fans, and Meghan is definitely not a stranger to the entertainment industry. While the Duchess is not planning to return to her days of acting, she and Harry said in a statement that their focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope. Looks like they have amazing things planned. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just proved they'll always be more popular than William and Kate. So, how is it that Harry and Meghan will always be the more popular couple? Chances are, the Netflix deal is only the beginning, and most likely, they will be getting many more lucrative deals with huge companies like Spotify or Hulu. After all, they are doing what makes them happy, and they are young, famous, rich, and also have big dreams and goals. While we will always love William and Kate no matter what, it would appear that Meghan and Harry just proved that they are clearly more popular and so on to other news and why Prince Harry is more in control now than he ever was in the royal family. Prince Harry left his royal life behind to escape the constant negative attention he and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, endured for so long. Now that the Sussexes have struck out on their own, royal expert Omid Scobby believes that Prince Harry is in control in a way that he wasn't when he was in the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan exited the royal family. In early 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan announced a plan to take a step back from their royal duties with the hope that they could split their time between the UK and North America. Queen Elizabeth wasn't able to honor their half-in or half-out plan, but did support the couple in their desire to avoid the spotlight. It was ultimately decided that the couple would officially exit the royal family on March 31st, as well as give up their HRH titles and any public funding. In a speech following the decision, Prince Harry explained how they had hoped to split their time, and when that wasn't possible, they believed they had no other options but to leave their royal duties behind. Prince Harry said, I accepted this knowing it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am, but I hope it helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step my family back from all 
I have ever known to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. Royal expert claims Prince Harry isn't missing his old life. Following their official exit, Prince Harry and Meghan moved from Canada to California and eventually bought a home there. Many royal fans have been curious about how Prince Harry has adjusted to a life very different from the only thing he had ever known. Royal expert Ingrid Seward explained to LMT Channel that she believes Prince Harry has moved on very quickly, Seward said. He's embracing his new life, and everything is an adventure right now. He has moved on very quickly, and I don't think he misses his old life at all. Seward also shared how she was surprised about Prince Harry's big move, but believes the decision is true to his nature. She said, I'm still surprised, though, that Harry has left Britain. I know he has always hated the media, and quite often hated being a prince, but I never thought he would leave his homeland. He's always been such a lover of British life, polo, the countryside, the shooting, Scotland. Prince Harry appears to be in control now, expert says. Further supporting Seward's thoughts on how Prince Harry is finding this new chapter in his life, expert Omid Scabby, who co-wrote the book Finding Freedom about Prince Harry and Meghan, believes that Harry has more independence and control now. Scotty share. As a royal who was not particularly high up the ladder within the institution, Harry wasn't always able to go at it full force. Now he's in control. He gets to juggle multiple projects at the same time. The budget is there, the space is there. Scotty also shed some light on Prince Harry and Meghan's partnership. Scotty explained, In Meghan, Harry has met a woman who meets him on many levels. They share the same ideals and wishes for the world. Meghan gets criticized for a lot, but one can't knock her authenticity when it comes to wanting change and giving back. This is more than a marriage. It's a couple on a philanthropic journey together, with the same goals. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.